Hey YouTube, it's your boy Savvy Got Bands, back with another reaction. We back with a UK drill, bro. Look, I told y'all, I love your channel. I was looking at it. I was looking at the last vid. We was reacting to it. It was going crazy. Bro dropped. I'm straight. I'm straight here. We going crazy. Look, I was asking every single time about the footballers and the drill scene. Do they ever connect? I was asking. I was seeing something about Jaden Sancho. He cool with some Harlem Spartan guys. But now we got something. I, I'm. I really want to see this. I re I'm really interested. So if y'all new, subscribe, like, comment. I'm gonna put bro link in the bio too. We all going crazy. Let's see this. Bye, because you got your face banged over with your shank in your hand. Oh, you. what? You got okay. your face banged over with your shank in your hand. Right there, this is your enemy. Your brother with this skin is not your enemy. Make do of where you're from. Like, not everywhere is meant to be glamorous and all of that. Like, like, I believe my area was how it is for a reason. The beef I've got is man having beef with me, innit? I've got defense mechanism and and the best form of defense is a tactic. Now today's story is about a man who had the world at his feet. Gavin Grant was born on the 27th of March 1984. He grew up on the Stonebridge Park estate in northwest London. Stonebridge suffers from high rates of violent crime, it regularly tops Brent's crime tables and has a serious gun problem. So Gavin was a talented footballer, due to his belief in his own ability, he put all his eggs in one basket, which was football. Facts, that facts, facts, this story finna hit home, cause we all wanted to be footballers, I swear. Look, I'm not calling it soccer, Foot I swear, we all wanted to be footballers. His way out of the hood. This dream, however, took a brutal setback when he was dropped from the Watford Academy Damn. at the age of 16. He was at the age of adolescence with his hormones all over the place, which is especially dangerous in a place like Stonebridge where other opportunities to make money are through crime. Plenty of explanations for teenage turmoil are available. It's normal for teenagers to assert their independence and explore their limits, taking risks breaking rules and rebelling against their parents while still relying on them for support and protection. This was sadly the case for Gavin. Look, I hope y'all stay inside. Look, this story finna go left real quick, but look, I hope y'all stay inside. I hope y'all keep grinding, keep working. Come on, bro. Do the better route. Go the better way, please, please. The other way, nah, nah, it, it don't look right. The other way don't be looking right. The other way, the outside route, the drill route, the street route, it don't be looking like. Just stay inside, go to school, and do better. Please, please. He and his friends resigning. But we watching content. This is content. We just enjoying ourselves, watching it. But you go right there. Stay inside and go to school. Please. Stonebridge Park Estate formed a gang known as Thugs of Stonebridge. They called themselves the Suspect Gang. It was Damn. led by gang leader Damien Williams. Damn. This lifestyle choice by Gavin until <laughs> living that. You look scary. <laughs> Damien look like he don't play no games. Played by gang leader <laughs> Damien Williams. This lifestyle choice by Gavin entailed living the high life and selling drugs, <coughs> living lavish, and gangland shootings on rival crews. They say money is the root of all evil. As for all money-focused gangs, those at the bottom get envious of those at the top, regardless if they are part of the same team or not. Now, Fugs of Stonebridge member Leon Labastidi, also known as Playboy, was a known drug dealer in the state. He was rumored to have been involved in a burglary where he and two other accomplices robbed Romaine White, which is another Fugs of Stonebridge member, for his drugs and money. Not too long after, White informed Fugs of Stonebridge members that Playboy had robbed him. Mm. Damien Williams, being a boss, saw this as an act of treason and ordered to have Playboy killed because of his involvement. Now both Gavin Grant and Gareth Downey were tasked with the job of finding Playboy and oh killing God. him. Gavin along with Gareth gunned down the former friend Leon Labastidi oh aka God. Playboy outside his mother's house in Mordaunt Road on the Stonebridge estate in June 2000. Look I told y'all this story finna go left. This story is about to go stay inside please. Oh my oh Ooh. my God. Now this caused gun crime in the borough of Brent to drastically rise in such a short span. Over 30 plus shootings were recorded from 2004 till 2005. 
one of those incidences involving Damian Williams, the boss of Fugs of Stonebridge and friend of Gavin Grant being ambushed while sitting in his car when two rival gang members approached him from both angles and sprayed his vehicle. Luckily he had survived the attempted murder. After the assassination of Playboy, this led to many tit for tat shootings from rival gang members who had previous affiliations with Playboy. No one was charged for his murder at the moment due to lack of witnesses coming forth. However, that wouldn't stop people from exposing who his killers were. One individual, Sean Sephanies, aka Fuzi, was a prominent figure in the Kingsbury area. He was rumoured to have posted threatening letters through several Fugs of Stonebridge members' letterboxes to expose them for what they had Oh my god, oh my, they was doing this way back then? <laughs> Even way back then, they was doing all this. The letters through several. No, nah, but way back then is worse. No, 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 no. Way back then is worse because now there's Twitter, there's IG, IG Live. No, nah, but putting something in somebody else's letterbox, no, nah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Don't be members' <laughs> letterboxes to expose them for what they had done. This wouldn't sit well with many members. I know what you did. <laughs> Look, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Look, it's not funny. But it's crazy that you just putting this in people's letter. It's crazy. Leading to Fugs of Stonebridge <laughs> members to look for Sean. Now, Jamal Moore, aka Footage, was a Kensal Green Boy member and Church Road affiliate. Now, at about 11.30 p.m. on January evening in 2005, Gavin Grant and fellow Fugs of Stonebridge members went on a ride out looking for Sean. Mm -hmm. Sean had been celebrating at a family party near Wilsdon Green in North London along with Jamal Moore. Sean left the party, driven off in a taxi. Grainy CCTV footage recovered later by police showed four hooded Fugs of Stonebridge members walking in darkness towards the house. The men then see a taxi pass. They then move off camera, continuing towards the house. They had come for Sean. But once there, spotted 24-year-old Jamal Moore and oh, turned man. on him instead. Oh, they man. opened fire. 16 shots were fired, peppering the silver. Yo, I'm realizing UK back then was crazy. So what happened that, that y'all going crazy with the kitchen utensils? Because I can't say the word you to be tripping. But how come y'all using the kitchen utensils now and back then y'all was wilding like this? Let me know down below in the comments. Back then, y'all was wildin. How come y'all changed the the um the stuff y'all use? Let me let me say it like that. How come y'all changed? Cause right here, y'all was praying. Y'all was pow pow pow. What happened? How y'all in the kitchen now? And on him instead. They open fire. If you know, you know. I, you two be tripping. I can't. I, I can't say what I want to say. Shots were fired, peppering the silver Renault as he got out to get some beer from a shop near Wilsdon Green. Jamal Moore was hit in the chest and rolled down the hill. He called 999 on his mobile phone. I need an ambulance. Quick, he groaned. I've been shot. I'm in the back garden. Quick, please, I'm dying. Please help. He's then heard naming one of the shooters. It was Rufus, you know. Rufus shot me. Rufus' real name, Roberto Parchment, was a known gunman in Stonebridge. Now after the shooting, Spider uh, bro, bro snitched? Bro snitched? It was Rufus, you know, Rufus shot No, 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 take it back, take it back, take it back Quick, he groaned, I've been shot, I'm in the back garden, quick, please, I'm dying, please help He's then heard naming one of the shooters, it was Rufus, you know, Rufus So can he do that? Because look, I'll be staying inside, comment down below, I is he by the street rules, is he allowed to do that at 5 minutes and 18 seconds? Is he allowed to say that? I feel like that you can't do that. I feel like, no, you can't do that. You cannot do that. Me, Rufus, real name. We, we can because we stay inside. If you stay inside, you can. But if you're playing outside, bro, outside rules, bro, you can't say. Come on, bro. Come on. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's crazy. Roberto Parchment was a known gunman in Stonebridge. Now after the shooting, Spider, real name Darren Mathurin, drove the car away from the crime scene and set fire to burn evidence. But his hair got caught on fire along with his legs. He was immediately rushed to hospital and later nicked for his involvement. Oh now in 2005, oh 
Gavin Grant, while juggling two different lives, managed to catch a break in his football career. He first signed for a non-league club, two in a Mitchum, before being signed by Gillingham, who were a League One side, where the league's top 100 earners earned around £7,000 per week. Gavin was fine. Look, at first, when I was a kid, I always wanted to go to the Premier League, right? But 7K a week do sound good. I get it. It's League One. It's not the Premier League. Bro, 7K a week to play football is still good, though. A professional footballer while being responsible for the murder of two men. Gavin managed to make 10 appearances for Gillingham and score one goal before he later joined Millwall, a famous Ooh. club from South East London known best for their bloody football hooligan culture and rivalry with West Ham. Now in 2008, while playing for Millwall, Gavin Grant was arrested and tried for the murder of Jamal oh Moore. My God. Now remember how Spider was arrested for his involvement, where well, he was sentenced to 22 years for the murder of Jamal oh Moore. My God. However, he later agreed to testify in court to decrease his life sentence. Oh my, everybody snitching! Everybody snitching! Charges. BBC News stated that four people are facing life sentences after Britain's first black supergrass gave evidence against them during a number of trials at the Old Bailey. Now what makes Spider case unusual is that his deal came after he had been convicted. In December 2008 of murdering Jamal Moore and had been jailed for life with a minimum tariff of 22 years, he subsequently did a deal with the police and the Crown Prosecution Service and his sentence was reduced to 8 years. This is crazy. See why I told you stay inside. There's no rules outside. See why? See, bro, bro, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Bro didn't want to do life. He said, I'm a snitch. I'm going to get eight. That's crazy. In return, he agreed to give evidence at several trials. Dang. Now, during the trial of Darren Matherin, aka Spider, he claimed he was only the getaway driver in the killing of Jamal Moore. Oh my God. Naming Romain White and Parchman aka Rufus as the gunman, oh both God. from Kenton in North London, denied murder. However, they were sentenced to a minimum terms of 28 years and 27 years respectively. Gavin Crant was cleared of conspiracy to murder. Now Roberto Parchman, 24 years old, originally convicted of Moore's murder, was found guilty again. Following a retrial brought about by the involvement of Supergrass Spider, the first use of Operation Trident, he was jailed for life again and ordered to- Bro! You sn- Oh my god. Bro just out here ruining everybody lives. Oh my god. Bro don't care about nobody. You still got life? Of the remainder of his 28 year sentence. However, Romain White, 24, who had been previously convicted of conspiracy to murder, was cleared by a 10-2 majority verdict. Now Gavin returned to his footballing career. Millwall would sell him to Wickenby Wanderers, mm. who would sign on a two-year contract. He this, only played 10 times in this two getting years crazy. and then later became a free agent. He got so desperate to get back to his footballing career that he signed for Bradford on a non-contract basis on a Oh my god. I only know this team because of FIFA. Oh my god. Where where is bro going? 26th of February 2010. He got bags of potential and is a good finisher, said former England manager. Don't Albeit give up. I, I love the grind though. I love the story. Don't don't ever give up. Peter Taylor, who managed Grant at Wickenby and Bradford and said He's got an eye for goal, he's quick, he's an athlete, and he'll only get better. Unfortunately for Taylor, Gavin Wooden, as he was later arrested for the murder of Leon Labastidi, oh, aka Playboy, in July 2010, mm. Gavin Grant, along with boss Damien Williams and Gareth Downey, all stood trial for his murder. Now, Super Snitch Spider once again gave evidence. He stood looking pale and tired, frequently chewing his lower lip. This man, what's up with this man, bro? He said that after learning of the shooting of Playboy, he went to Damien Williams' house. I went inside and saw Gavin coming out of the bathroom. He'd been washing gunpowder off and water was dripping off his head. He saw me and the first thing he said was, is he dead? I said, I think so, he's on the floor. 
Gavin Grant, 26, who was still listed as a midfielder on Bradford City, was handed a 25-year sentence. Mm. Gareth Downey, 25 mm. years old from Birmingham, received a similar term for murder, as did Damian Williams, Damn. who was 32, of Damn. Southwark, South London, for conspiracy to murder. Damn. Now let me talk you through this famous picture of Fugs of Stonebridge members. Spider, centre, with face obscured to hide his identity. With Damian Williams far left, the one with the tie, and Gavin Grant second from right in the Czech shirt, who was later jailed for murder. Now in 2009, Stonebridge member K Cope, who later became one of the UK's biggest ever rappers, Ooh, dropped a track M? titled Are You Alone Fan, dedicated to dissing Super Snitch Spider, real name Darren Mathurin. The song sits at 10 million views today. K Cope made it clear that he was never M's. welcome home, and if he was ever seen, he would be murdered on sight. Some of the lyrics read, I'm too street for you halfway crooks. Get guilty and try and pass their book. Spill beans cause they arse is shook. Real G's mm. gonna read that book. Mm. You feel me? Snitch. Mm. Now Grant's conviction was a stunning success for Trident officers. As he was sent down, Grant was seen to be weeping. Only months before he had been playing professional football. Facts, facts, facts. Who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be, bro? Trying to resurrect a career that had stalled when he was 16. Weeping? Because he hadn't made it with Watford, he went back to Stonebridge and hung around with friends and family there and got into wrong things. Then after the shootings, he tried to sort himself out. But it was too late. Far too late. And that brings me to the end of the story of Gavin Grant. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as it goes a long way. For bro, I hope y'all stay inside. Keep keep on your ground, bro. You gonna make it. You gonna keep... Bro stay on that grind and stay inside please if you enjoyed this though hit the subscribe and like comment down below follow my twitter i draw that stuff i'll put the link in the bio too and i'm out